happy to be in New Delhi with some excellent climatic conditions. Our theme for the conference is Growth and Sustainability through Green Technologies. Respected Chief Guest, Honorable Sri Nan Gopal Ganandi, Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Respected Guest of Honor, Sri Harpati Singhania, he has always been present in any paper-related meetings, conferences. We're very happy to have you here today, sir. Delegates, my dear friends, on the dais, and ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to all of you. It is indeed a great pleasure to, be, to me to welcome you for this wonderful inaugural session of PaperX 2023. Paper, all of you know, as all of us know, that it's an environmentally very friendly problem. We've got a great future. All the input materials that go into paper making, like wood, which is legally farmer based, agriculture based wood for paper making, agro residues like straw or bagasse, or the recycled paper are all environmentally very friendly input materials for our industry. All the above primary raw materials are sustainable, meaning all these can be regenerated within our own lifetime. It is also good to note that nearly 55 to 60 percent of the energy in an integrated polymer paper mill comes from biomass. Again, the biomass comes from the wood or agro residual we use. India is the fastest growing market segment, though low, or per capita is very low. Therefore, we are the fastest growing paper market in the world today, whether it is printing and writing, packaging, or tissue. All seem to grow much faster than other countries, particularly developed countries. There have been many instances in the last few decades saying that paperless office is a reality and demand, particularly for printing and writing, will vanish. Vanish. On the contrary, we find the demand for printing and writing is growing on a different segment of printing and writing paper grades. As long as there are human beings, as long as there are children in the world, the paper will remain very stable. But the market is good and growing, there is equally tremendous increase in the import that is a great concern for all of us. Good quality imported paper at a much lower price, finds its way to India. Thanks to uh, good quality and low price, in addition to various free trade agreements helping these countries to put the paper into our country. If we are to face the onslaught of imports, then necessarily we have to reduce our cost of operation, which become highly competitive, and our quality has to be much more, much better than what it is today. The market is there, but whether we are going to be there or not, that is our real concern. We should not be thrown away by the imports. It is in this context, the topic today, vapor industry growth and sustainability of green technologies is highly relevant, very, very highly relevant. We have to be innovative and do some out-of-the-box thinking, do some out-of-the-box thinking. The technologies we adopt will have to be necessarily green, we will have to be necessarily green and help reduce consumption of steam, power, all, all input resources, all input resources. I am sure this conference will provide an excellent platform for good discussions among the delegates, technocrats, leading machinery manufacturers and help our country to become sustainable and competitive. At this point of time, I wish to recall the great service done by our past chairman, C. S. Vishwanathan, for the agro-based agro industries. In the early 80s, he worked so hard so that agro residues don't get burnt, they come to paper industry for paper making. India's largest 
on the world's largest bagasse-based paper mills in India, world's largest straw-based paper mills in India. There are many, many such accolades for our paper industry. I wish the delegates deliberate, be participative during this meeting, confer entire conference, and I wish this technical conference a great success, growth and sustainable green technology, great, great success. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for your patience.